So hi Kevin, thank you for accepting the interview. Let's begin. So what do you think are the reasons behind the growing weakness of emerging markets other than China? Uh, While well, most economists put the blame on uh, the softness in oil prices and the US Fed rates, but are there any other contributing factors? I think it's, uh, it's quite interesting how the financial markets or uh, the media in general is blaming China for this uh, economic slowdown or the weakness in emerging markets uh, because it runs contrary to what people uh, believe or what you know is happening in the world with globalization. First and foremost, I think all economies are not so much independent but interdependent. So to allocate this problem or this issue purely to China, I think it's perhaps not how I would view it. Uh, the other thing is if you know, we believe that economic growth is as strong as in America or picking up as in, in Europe, then there should be no reason as to why you know, economic growth in China would slow down. Granted, part of the manufacturing is for domestic consumption, but there's also a large proportion for exports as well. And actually, if you look at the growth in, let's say, for example, in America, uh, with US companies, growth has been at the top line, right? Or is it at the bottom line? Is at the bottom line, not at the top line. So in other words, revenues are not growing as what you would expect with, you know, the strong economic growth in the U.S. or the recovery. Growth and profits for corporates have come about because of, you know, uh, more efficiencies, higher productivity or layoffs, and also because of lower cost of debt. So the pump priming or the QE in America has actually benefited not just U.S. economies or U.S. companies, but also the rest of the world. So the slowdown or the you know, the reflection in performance in equity markets and emerging markets, uh, you know, a panic because of what's happening in China is probably a bit misplaced, I would say.